Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer all your data from your old Samsung Galaxy smartphone to your new Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And I'm talking about everything. We're talking about photos, videos, messages, contacts, phone call logs, all your phone history, and even your wallpapers and your settings from your old phone to the new phone. It's a very simple, easy process if you just follow it step by step. Now I do wanna let you know, this one here is a brand new phone. I did the initial setup process and I'm just in the main screen without transferring anything. So now I'm gonna initiate the transfer and everything from here, including the apps, is gonna transfer over here, okay? All right, so step number one is to go to the Play Store and you wanna do this with both smartphones and you want to search for smart switch okay it's going to pop up like this and most of the time it is installed by default it's this one right here it's a samsung product as you can see so make sure this is installed again it's a samsung product you want to make sure it is the same situation here make sure it is installed so i'm going to tap over here and we can see that we have it installed after you confirm this, you can open this on either one of these devices. I'm gonna do it from here. So I'm gonna tap on open, and you're gonna see right off the bat, it says transfer your data. Do you wanna send data or receive data? So in this case, we are gonna be sending data from this phone to this phone. Now if I did the same thing over here, I would actually receive data. Okay, let me just tap on continue here allow so on this case I would just tap on receive data all right now here you want to make a very important choice you can either use a USB type C cable to do the transfer so you would plug in one end at the bottom here and the other end at the bottom here and that's it now in this case I'm gonna use wireless Wi-Fi transfer I have a fast Wi-Fi connection if you have a fast Wi-Fi connection, you can do that as well. If you have a slow Wi-Fi connection, then simply grab a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, which is gonna look like this one right here. You can see it's Type-C to Type-C. One end plugs into this phone at the bottom, other end plugs into this phone at the bottom, okay? In this case, I'm not gonna do it, but the process is the same. And also, if you're doing a wireless transfer, you just have to make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that Bluetooth is enabled. So we have the same Wi-Fi network, okay? And also you can see Bluetooth is enabled. Let me just press and hold. You can see Bluetooth is enabled on both of these smartphones. So that's fantastic, all right? We're gonna go back out. We're gonna start the process. So I'm gonna tap on send data, okay? Again, cable or wireless. I'm gonna tap on wireless because I have a fast Wi-Fi. Now look at this, it recognizes that there's a phone trying to do transfer. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna say yes, all right? And then they're gonna start to connect to each other to start the transfer process. So this might take a couple minutes, couple seconds, doesn't matter. You'll get this pop up here. You're gonna tap on connect, all right? And look at what happens next. It is connecting to this phone and that one is searching for transfer data from that phone, all right? Now I'm gonna show you guys how to customize everything. So here it is. It's asking me, what do you wanna transfer? So in this case, I'm gonna do everything, and that's 28 gigabytes. It's gonna take, take approximately 19 or less minutes on my connection, okay? Now, if you wanna just transfer accounts, calls, contacts, and messages, that's only 96 megabytes, that's less than a minute. Or, if you wanna do custom, then you would tap on next. Now, you would actually choose individually exactly what you wanna transfer. So I can transfer all my Google accounts, uh, my calls and contacts, my messages, my apps, my settings from this phone to that phone, even my home screen layout. This whole layout can be transferred over to this phone let me go back here, uh, and you can see images, videos, these are the big ones, audio, documents and files. So if you don't want some of these to transfer over, you simply uncheck them, that's it, okay? But this is how you customize it 
If you just want to start fresh, you can do no settings, no home screen. Okay. Now, in my case, I am going to do everything. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to say everything. Okay. And then I'm going to tap on next. And of course, you're not going to be able to transfer your WhatsApp because WhatsApp transfer method is separate. I do have a separate video on that. If you want to watch that, that's in the description below the link to that video, but it's not going to transfer WhatsApp messages, but it's going to transfer everything else. So I'm going to tap on next. And now it says to transfer your Google account to your new phone, unlock your old phone and tap copy, which I already did right now. So I'm going to tap on copy. All my Google accounts, if any, will go from here to here. Okay. So tap on copy. It'll ask me to put my pin number in. Let me do that right now. That is the current pin number on your phone. Tap on continue. So it is copying the Google accounts to this phone. All right. And that's it. Now the process has started. You can see it is transferring. It tells you how much, how many minutes left. I'm going to keep the screen on. All right. When you keep the screen on, it lowers the brightness to save you battery. Okay. So I'm going to let this happen. And towards the end, I'm going to show you exactly what you should see and what to expect. So let's fast forward this portion of the video. At the end of this process, you will have to physically remove the SIM card from this phone and put it here. That's obvious. Okay. So the SIM card over here is going to go to this phone that is going to get you the mobile connection. Just a quick status update. You can see we are almost 82% complete and it says four minutes left and it's telling me exactly what is transferring at the bottom right here. All right. So once the transfer is actually complete, this is the screen you're going to see. It says all done. All right. And here it says organizing your transferred data. At this point, you don't need to have these phones next to each other. You can actually turn this off and put it away. It's up to you. So look, I'm going to tap on done. This is just going to go to the home screen. And on this one, I'm going to tap on go to home screen. Now it's not over yet. Just wait for this to complete. When I pull this down, you're going to see it says organizing your transferred data. Okay. So that might take a while, but you can start using this phone for anything you want, making phone calls, watching videos, the data that it transferred, all that massive data has been transferred, but now it is being organized. So it looks exactly like this phone when it's done. You can see the home screens are almost replicated. Okay. So look at this. However, you can also see some things are blacked out. Okay. So if you look over here, these are blacked out. That just means that those apps are in fact being installed, which is a good thing. So it's going to install the applications. It's going to get them ready. And then you do have to log in to each application individually. So not all of them, but many applications you're going to have to re log in and then you'll be good to go. All right. And that's basically it. You're done with this phone. Okay. And this is still organizing. It tells you how much is left. And once all that is complete, you can start playing with this phone as well. All these are going to pop up in a little bit. Okay. No need to worry. It takes time. Just be aware uh, of the timeline. All right. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.